uh, the Tema Harbor. Now, what we're asking today is, um, what exactly is your role in corruption uh, in fighting against corruption, and then how well are you really um, helping fight against corruption in the country? 30 minutes after 7, this is still your community watch on Focus 94.3. Online now is um, Honorable Paul Collins up here for you, who is um, the MP for or Sikuma or the Brakwa constituency, and also known to be an anti-corruption campaigner. Um, honorable, good evening. Good evening. I hope you're doing good, Honorable. Yes, I am, by the grace of God. Okay. Um, we know you as an anti-corruption campaigner. Um, with your background as an MP and as a politician, and also as an anti-corruption campaigner, um, how would you assess the situation of corruption in this country? It has slipped from bad to worse. From bad to worse. Yes. How do you mean? Obviously, <laughs> Article 35 Constitution of the Constitution says the teacher takes steps to eradicate corrupt practices and abuse of power. But none of the government took the fight against corruption seriously. And therefore, every party here, after the United reports, which come to Parliament, show that the looting of the state resources from bad to worse, every person is here. So if anybody says they have been able to curb corrupt, corrupt practices, if anybody says they have been able to give effect to Article 35 Constitution that I've just quoted, then tell the person that is a big liar. Okay, um, who would you say are the major stakeholders in fighting corruption in the country? Everybody is a stakeholder because the Constitution says the state. And who is the state? The state is made up of you and me, everybody, the president, the ministers, everybody has a role to play to uh, eradicate corrupt practices as required under the Constitution of Crusade. Okay, we're speaking to the Honorable um, uh, MP for Sikumo Domin Brack, also known as uh, or known to be the anti-corruption campaigner, um, Paul Collins Apia for we. Um, Honorable, um, talking of corruption, how how well are uh, um, Politicians in particular are um, playing their role in fighting against corruption. So you just have a politician. I don't know which of the state politicians you are referring to. Are you referring to members of parliament? Or are you referring to all politicians, uh, the MPP, NDC? Let's talk of um, all politicians in general. Members of parliament, ministers, um, political party members and stuff. Well, I would say that uh, I don't think people take the fight against corruption seriously. You see, as I uh, uh, said, the state is certain takes steps to eradicate corrupt practices. So the leader of the state is the one who should show example. But at all times, the president must show uh, 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 example. If everybody does anything wrong, if everybody is involved in corrupt practices, if everybody steals state resources, the person must be punished to serve as a deterrent. But you don't see it. The people go on blocking the state uh, for, for, for their own benefit. And as long as nobody takes the fight against corruption seriously, as long as heads of state fail to give effect to Article 35 Constitution that I've just quoted, then there's no hope in the fight against corruption, whether we'll be able to win or lose. There's no hope for it. So I put the blame. On the, on, the, on the president, or not this president, not that all the president, because they have to lead the fight against corruption, and they don't do it. They encourage people who steal the state resources, they defend them, they cover them up. And as long as they do so, there's no hope. Okay, Honorable, uh, how would you um, say governments, successive governments have helped? How, how have they helped in fighting corruption in the country? I say the, the first governor has heard the Come again. I do hear what you said. Um, how have a successive governments helped in fighting corruption in the country? The first governor has done nothing. The first government did nothing. The NDC government did nothing. The NDP did nothing. And the NDC is doing nothing. Okay, you're talking of the current president, uh, current government of NDC. So the NDC is doing nothing. Okay. Okay, and um, uh, what would you say should be the way forward in fighting corruption in the country? Hello? Hello? Yes. What would you say should be the way forward for f uh, in fighting corruption in the country? You see, the way forward is that, you see, we have the auditor general who brings his, his report to parliament. Uh, let me tell you this. I 
Talk about the judiciary. Um, what is your role in corruption? Well, uh, uh, you see, whatever I say, I always rely on the second night report. If I have not seen it, I will say it. Because if I ask you to prove, I will not be able to prove. Whatever I say, I rely on uh, documentary evidence. So I cannot say there's a corruption in the judiciary where I, I have no evidence. It is a perceived corruption, yes. But I cannot prove it because I have no uh, uh, documentary evidence that is right. But in all other places, as, as far as the Attorney General's reports are concerned, corruption is unabated. Okay, could you touch on again um, on the way forward uh, in respect of corruption? The way forward is, first of all, Parliament must be, be, be responsible to its responsibility. You see, as I said, universally, to whom all these reports are sub submitted is the one who has to take the major action to prevent the recurrence of irregularities or corrupt practices uh, reported to him. So if by Article 1 is 7 plus 5, Parliament is the recipient of the Attorney General's report, there is a Parliament that will take steps to eradicate corrupt practices as enshrined in Article 35 plus 8. But it is certainly enough, after we have debated the Attorney General's report on the floor of the House, that entity. Parliament does nothing to ensure that those who have been reported to us or the irregularity notice are dealt with. And as long as Parliament folds its arm to allow it to go out of uh, 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 the way, I'm telling you, corruption will continue to slip from. Okay, in, that, in that respect, and um, what should Parliament have done about it? 